chicks are very free, especially during the first few weeks of their life. Hence, it's, you know, um, imperative to have sound management to keep your flock healthy. Egg chick mortality cannot um, be avoided entirely, but um, 1-5% to of mortality is um, normal in a poultry farm, but anything higher than this should be taken serious. Um, a high mortality rate is, you know, indicative that something is um, wrong with the flock and it demands the poultry owner um, immediate intervention and appropriate action to stop further losses as, you know, failure to do so may lead to a huge losses. Here in this video, we are sharing about the causes of early chick mortality and ways to reduce the chick mortality. So if this is your first time of watching our videos, do ensure you hit that subscribe button and also share our videos to other farmers. Um, there are many causes of this early chick mortality, but the most common factor that um, causes it are number one is management factor, number two is nutritional factor, and number three is disease factor. Now let's discuss all these mortality causes step by step. And let's start with number one, which is the management causes. A um, sound management is you know indispensable for keeping um flock healthy and alive. Chicks that are you know reared in a poorly managed poultry um won't be able to manifest their full genetic potential. You know, when we talk about poor uh, management, these are the things um you should look out for. Number one is um, high breeding temperature. Too much heat makes chicks, you know, dehydrated due to which they, you know, um, consume more water rather than feed. And due to their reduced feed intake, their growth is, um, you know, drastically affected, leading to their deaths. Number two is low breeding temperature. A prolonged um, exposure to cold can um, directly impact um, the immune system of the flock, thereby making the um, birds vulnerable to disease. Um, if you notice, chicks tend to, you know, huddle when um, exposed to too much cold to, you know, keep themselves warm. And as you all know that um, this um, huddling causes uh, suffocation in the flock, thereby um, resulting in chick mortality. The third one is inadequate feeders and drinkers. Using wrong feeding and drinking equipment can also um, you know, cause chick mortality. It can um, lead to feed wastage and water spillage that um, results in wet litter, which is, uh, you know, a suitable condition for disease outbreak. And less feeders, on the other hand, um, you know, causes um, starvation, which also leads to death. Number two of the causes of um, early chick mortality is the nutritional factor. In nutritional factor, things that we should look out for include, number one is water. Water is one of the essential elements for, you know, maintaining the health and performance um, of the birds. It only acts as um, a, uh, a transport medium for um, nutrients and, you know, metabolic and products, but also, you know, helps in maintaining body um, temperature during, um, you know, hot, hot weather. The second thing is um, fat-soluble vitamin deficiency. These, you know, are required for normal goods development and um, reproduction of chicks. And note, note that a high deficiency of fat-soluble vitamin can, you know, cause death. The third one is water-soluble vitamin deficiency. These, you know, are required for metabolism, um, reproduction, growth, and development of the chicks. The third cause of egg chick mortality is the disease factor. Chicks are susceptible to infections and diseases due to lack of um, immunity during the first six weeks. So make sure to get um, your chicks vaccinated at the appropriate time um, to help build their immunity against um, any disease. So my dear viewers, if you have been recording a high mortality rate in your poultry farm, it's you know very alarming and you need to take appropriate action because um, failure to do anything will um, you know cost you all your investments. Um, but I bet you if you can follow this, this instruction, you have um, you know a reduced mortality rate of um, one to four percent in your poultry farm. So number one is to buy chicks from um, a trusted supplier. More often than not, the problem here begins when you know you buy poor quality and unhealthy chicks. Most of the health problem um, affecting your birds are due to you know low genetic background. So it's very vital to buy chicks from you know a reputable and trusted supplier who um, raises healthy parent stock. The second thing is to you know prevent your farm from infection and disease. As you all know, some diseases can um, be gruesome, 
they can you know wipe out your entire flock in a twinkle of an eye while some may not um, be fatal but may you know affect the feed conversion ratio of the beds so the third thing is to um, serve your beds water before feeds this um, helps to prevent um, your flock from you know stampeding while you know stalking for food beds you know tend to um, drink water slowly um, than they peck on their feet but you know serving water first will um, divert some of the birds attention to water which will you know reduce the um, intensity of the stalk of our feed the fourth thing is to keep drinkers and feeders queen um, being a poultry farm being a poultry owner is not an easy task you need to um, uh, take care of your flock and their needs to keep them healthy Keeping your uh, your your beds feed, feeders and drinkers clean is very um, important. So um, make sure you clean them um, every morning and discard any leftover um, water or feed. The fifth thing is to supply sufficient feed to your beds. Insufficient feed can you know lead to poor growth and development of your beds, which can also lead to um, low um, body weight and um, poor um, responses due to which um, they fail sick easily. The sixth thing, which is the last, is to um, strictly follow medication and vaccination schedules. Following medication and vaccination is um, a good farm practice that can, you know, help um, each poultry farmer or poultry owner in a big way. By, you know, following medication and vaccination schedule, you can keep um, endemic disease um, outbreak far from your farm. So make sure you get your beds vaccinated against um, contagious diseases like um, the Newcastle disease, the fowl typhoid disease, Gomboa disease and the fowl post disease.